Hi, thanks for taking the time today to join me on Blind Tech Reviews. Today I want to give you a quick overview of wireless charging on the Galaxy series, specifically starting with the Galaxy S2. Then I also have an S4 here as well. We'll start with the S2. It does not have built-in wireless charging adapter capability, which means that on the back there is no place to put a, an adapter for wireless charging, so you have to use the USB port. Snap back on. What you'll need is a wireless charging receiver module that supports USB, specifically USB-A. The reason it's A is because the small um, part of the receiver is on top, the large part is on the bottom when your phone is facing up. The receiver will actually look like this. It's got a little piece of tape on the back and there. You can put it under the battery cover, but I do not recommend this simply because this wire is flimsy and it is breakable. What you'll end up doing is putting your, taking the tape off, putting it on the back, and then just plugging this little USB. I do wish these were a little bit more robust, but not bad. Put that in just like you would a normal cable. Then you put it on the charger. It'll take a second or two to recognize and realize it's charging, and there you go. It's recognizing that it's now wireless charging on a Galaxy S2. And the charging time on this, it's going to be about an extra 20 to 25 minutes from zero to full charge to wireless versus the standard wired charging. And just something to keep in mind. Again, this would be plugged in, and it will work on a relatively thick case. It works fine on this case, which is a uh, TPU hard case combo. But they say the max thickness is about five millimeters. I prefer this. If you ever want to change it back to regular USB charging, just pop this adapter out and you can charge normally and then pop it right back in. Now, the difference between that and an S4, let's say, the S3 is very similar to this but I don't have my S3 around at the moment. Inside you'll notice there's a couple of small charging nodes here. This is for the cover that you can get that actually does the wireless charging from Samsung, or you can save a few bucks and get a charging adapter, which uses these two. Now in this case, this adapter, which I'll have the link for in the comments, I moved the tape from the front side to the back. It's a little bit complicated to get the tape off, but it's worth it because now it's attached to the kit cover, not the battery. So I can swap batteries out. I can do whatever I need to without having to worry about uh, interfering with this or ripping the wireless charging. And because I have it set up this way, it snaps right in, no problem. Sets it right on, just takes a second or two to recognize that it's on a wireless charging pad, and there you go. It's now charging wirelessly. The same thing works on the S5 as well. I'd show you that, but I'm currently recording this video on my S5, so can't do that. And again, it works with cases. This is a rubberized hard case, not a very good one, mind you, but it works fine through this one as well. As far as the charging pad goes, this is a Rui. It's not the best out there, not the worst. It is in fact USB charged, so it's actually a lower power than some of the other ones out there. Now I'll put a link in the comments for this particular charger model, and I will also uh, put a link into a couple of other ones that I like as well. Most of them will have a note on the surface of where the charging pad is and as long as your wireless charger is in that area it'll go ahead and charge it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned but if you're on the edge of a charging zone you might have some ons and offs like here i just went off the edge pull it back it's back on the charger again so pretty straightforward and simple to add wireless charging to any of your galaxy devices and a lot of other smartphones have the capability to use the micro USB wireless chargers as well. It's completely up to you. I would recommend if possible, and you have a phone that supports it, 
that you uh, go ahead and get a wireless charger that goes under your cover. If that's not an option, these work well. Just keep in mind when you're removing it, it is a little difficult to remove. It does stick a little. And if you yank too hard, you will damage the cord or the connection, in which case your $15 adapter is toast. And these can be had anywhere. I think I saw one on eBay for six bucks. Uh, Amazon, they range anywhere from 10 to 30, depending on the brand and style and everything. And again, just make sure if you have a USB-A device like this, this Galaxy S2, where it is small on top, big on bottom, you get a uh, USB-A adapter. If it's reversed, if it's large on top, small on bottom, you want to get a, a USB-B adapter. That will make a huge difference because if I put this face down here, it's not recognizing that it's got char that it's got a charger on it. However, if I flip it over, the light is now blinking, which indicates that it's charging. These are directionally sensitive. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and I'll either update this video or I will uh, try and answer your comments the best I can. I hope you enjoyed it, and you have a wonderful day.